and she gets out. She walks back inside. She tells people, my car's in the ditch, walks upstairs, and falls asleep in the bed next to me. That was her night. What's up, Sarby Studios Podcast? It's your boy Sarby here. Just really, really quickly before we get started with the podcast, I, w- I thought I'd let you guys know. For some reason, uh, our podcast equipment here at the Go House kind of fucked up. It fucked up for a couple of our podcasts, like for the actual house, um, as well as for this podcast. So for some reason, I think it had something to do with the XLR cable. The mic was like cutting out a little bit here and there. So uh, we still got the podcast out for you guys. A couple of times I had to switch over to our camera mic, which isn't amazing by any means, but you can still hear what I'm saying. So thought I'd let you guys know that ahead of time. If that annoys you, I'm sorry. I won't let it happen again. We fixed the problem since, but uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that dumb shit, um, and enjoy the podcast. Oh, looking good. I'd smash. Not too dramatic. <laughs> not to be dramatic or anything, but I will fucking skull fuck to, you. <laughs> not to be dramatic, but I'd fuck you right on the spot. Um, <laughs> no, don't even bring me out to dinner. I would just lay rod right now. I would just fucking lay some pipe on you honestly just pick, me, <laughs> just pick me up and like we won't even leave the parking lot or the garage or your driveway i'll just fuck you right there just wherever we are like just in the middle just like in the traffic. middle of downtown tra- easy <laughs> dude where would be like the weirdest place to just start having sex um pff, honestly i would nursing probably home? yeah nursing home or i think a really fucked up place would be probably a cemetery that's bad. That's bad mojo right there. So like MacGruber shit. Yeah. <laughs> MacGruber. <laughs> at least oh, he's dear. having. Wasn't he piping on his um dad's grave though? So like, at least he's keeping no, it in the family, which is like, he, I guess not as good. But he was piping on the the his wife's ghost on oh, her his grave. Wife's ghost. Okay. Yeah. Which yeah. like arguably I can't say is any better, but you know at least it's his wife's. <laughs> Fucking, fucking his his wife on her own grave. Sex is sex, right? <laughs> Still hit though. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is up, Sarpy Studios Podcast? Welcome to the number one podcast on Guess Where? Only fans. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Suck Zemi dick. Zemi, hmm. how how are we uh how are we feeling? <laughs> um, you know it's pretty I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good. It's kinda late here. It's nine o'clock, but that's okay. You know, fuck it, we pod any day. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we pod. Mm-hmm. You know how happy yeah. you, Sarby? How we living? Still got Dude, that a little pee pee or growing a little, shrinking a little. Nah, bro, I think it grew like half a millimeter, but like I don't know. Maybe I'm rounding up. Who knows? I could be the <gasps> tides too. <laughs> that's true. The fucking full moon just makes it extend a little bit longer. Yeah, reaches out a little farther. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> we only fuck on full moons. <laughs> She's like, hey babe, can I come over and get that? And you're like, sorry, we only fuck on full moons. I'm like an extra like half an inch. You're looking out the window like, it's almost there. Like, nah, I'll wait till tomorrow. Like on some zodiac shit. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, like if you were born at this time with a full moon, your dick is gonna be fucking massive. <laughs> Just- <laughs> I can't wait for that shit where it's like a girl, like probably like I bet this has happened. A girl like hooks up with a dude. He like pulls down his pants. She sees his penis side. He's like, oh yeah, you're a Libra for sure. <laughs> Def- <laughs> Definitely a Gemini. Definitely a Gemini. Libra, Libra men can't get past five inches. It's no just chance. a fact. No, no chance. No chance. Never. Nothing to do with gen- genetics. Nothing. But all astrology. Libra men, bro. All about that astrology. <laughs> all about that <laughs> ass. Just ass. Just ass. No Just ass. Oh, how was your weekend? My weekend? Um, it was good. Uh, the roommate was at Callum. Callum was at the cabin, so I had the whole crib to myself. Ooh. Um, didn't do too much with it. <laughs> I honestly was out more than anything. Um, I went to... I didn't go to any bars. We went to... Um, yo, is there a fan going? Yeah, there is. Is it annoying? I can hear it, so I don't know if it'll fuck up the audio at all. I I don't think it will with these mics. Like these mics are hella cool. nice, but I'm I'll, uh, okay. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it. If yeah, leave it. No, I I just didn't want it to fuck up the audio. 
Sorry, no, it's I just, good. I just care about post edit. I'm just no, like, dude. Fucking this garage is hot as dick. Like our podcast mm. studio is in the garage, and it's just like shooting shooting in here anytime during the day is just like fucking roasting in the so fires wet. of hell. So yeah. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I I went. I didn't go out to the bars, but I mean, like I kind of did. So we, I met up with um, uh, the tried out girls that we've been hanging out with. Um, mm. Yeah, so hung out with them. Um, but we we were gonna. So we we all met up, and uh, God, it was just so late when we started. So like we got to the bars at like eleven. And it was just like every bar down the street line, like around the block. And I was just it's like, this isn't for me. I was like, I'm tired. I clearly, you know, sunburned as fuck. Been outside all day. Like, I just like, I can't. I can't. I almost fell asleep at the pregame. I was sitting like right under the AC. It was just blowing on my face. And I was like, Con- I could just zonk. Just- I could just so quick. But then I um, I had to fire up. So I took a shot of rumpies and. You know, I fired up. Oh, we know what Rumpies does. I to, swished to it around. Boy. <laughs> little smiley. Yep, did a little quick little smiley, and I was <laughs> I was so ready. I was so ready, but then once I saw those lines, I was like, I can't, like, I can't do it. I just can't fucking do it. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty chill weekend. Um, sounded like you had a fun time. Did you go on a party bus? Did I see? Yeah, we uh we got a Hummer limo. <laughs> oh no way! Uh, but it actually okay, limo. actually that. Yeah, bro. Okay, so limo. that night was that li- that night was like kind of like a little fucky. So mm-hmm. like we I don't even remember how it happened, but like one of the guys was uh one of our creators just got offered like a VP job of a big company he's sponsored by. Mm-hmm. And so he's like we're getting a limo. And uh um, nice. like with kill pay but like we all chipped in a little bit and then mm-hmm. uh the guys actually who run the house were like you know we'll pay for a majority of it like this will be fun like whatever so we get this limo and first like little wrench in the cock is you i can't wait till you come here because like this house is amazing like it's fucking mm-hmm. sick but getting to this house sucks dick we live in like the tippy top of hollywood hills and the roads are narrow dude like, tough life living at the top of hollywood hills i so know hard. i know rough life oh, but like man like the roads <laughs> the roads here do suck parking oh, they sucks probably just go like, yeah the and, and the thing is they're narrow too it's not like it's like even evenly distributed like, like two on lane GTA, highway on the gta map and gta 5 i like know exactly where your guys's house is <laughs> <laughs> do you I, like we're right next to the hollywood reservoir that's like the best way I can explain it. Mm-hmm. So, um, like the Hummer limo couldn't even get up here. So we were like, all right, cool. Like there's this big cul-de-sac kind of by where we drive up by mm-hmm. to get to, uh, we drive by it to get here. We'll meet there. We all like shuttle down there, like walk down there. And then the guy calls and he's like, oh shit. Like I can't even get to that point. So we walked down a majority of this fucking hill to get to this Hummer low. Great. Cool. We get in it and it's actually really fun. Like it was yeah. a great time, honestly, that entire night. So that entire night we hit up two parties and both the parties in my opinion were pretty bunk ass. Like they suck dick, not suck dick. Sorry. Like they were just, they're just like, I'm used to like frat boy parties and shit. Like we've, we've actually That's partied. Funny. You know it's what I'm saying? so funny that like, you know, you go to LA like oh, big parties and like your first LA, like part of your first few, you're just like, wait, what? <laughs> well, I've been to like LA parties but like i don't know it just it's just not what yeah just drop it there um the LA's parties aren't like but from what i've seen they're not like anything amazing i mean it's, yeah. it's really like even the frat parties aren't that amazing it's just like people go and they feel cool because like oh i'm in a frat and then they like white girls are dancing on surfaces and they kind of suck at dancing like <laughs> like yeah like, and then like everyone's like, like standing let me there get up there and show you how to fucking do it yeah dude like every, like literally the people like I, I think parties are fun because like you can go with your friends and if your friends are all loosey goosey, like you can just get up there and, f- and like not give a shit about any, like that's yeah. what partying should be for. It shouldn't even matter like where you are really. Like you could do that at the yeah. bars, you could do that at, at a small get together, a kickback. But like, I feel like most people just go to parties just to like, Oh, look, I'm at a party. Like let yeah. me post it on my story. And like, yeah. Oh, I'm going to go look for a girl to hook up with her. Blah, 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 blah. So dude, who would want to go to a party and hook up with a girl? Bro. I don't even talk to girls. Girls are for Ew. fucking Ew. dudes. Fuck. Ugh. Go to parties just to talk to dudes. Yeah, me too, bro. Only dudes, dudes for life, bro. <laughs> I love, I love. Why, I feel like there's a few times we'd walk into parties and AMs when we were seniors and just didn't give a fuck. And I'd just be like, "Wow, there's a lot of girls here. It's kind of weird." 
<laughs> all the no, freshmen bro. would like look and they're like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> I'm like, mm, "Yeah, a little too many, a little, little too many girls for um for a deke party." <laughs> no, dude, I still remember like like walking in somewhere when you're a senior. I like to like a party, not like the bars, yeah. so like a part, like a house party that they were thrown. And they were like yeah. 18 year old freshman girls. And you're just like, wow, you look like a child. <laughs> oh, I'm like, is that what I looked like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, or uh, you'd like, no. And then you'd walk. So you'd like walk in and then you're like, you know, I'll just like venture downstairs and see what happens. You like walk down and like, I don't know. I kind of thrived low key. I'd go down there and stuff fun, but like, you kind of just take it in. You're like, yeah, I've, I've I probably this. shouldn't be here. I should probably not be here. I'm going to go back upstairs and just talk and have a few beers. But it's also fun because, like, they look to, like, the older people for the vibes. Because remember when you were a freshman, like, doing, like, lip sync or something? Or yeah. Or your party, you were like, oh, oh sure. what, do I, what do I do with my body? And then, like, yeah. if you see one of the seniors just, like, uh, fuck yeah. strips, like, it's like, oh, shit, like, this guy. Oh, and, he's like, acting like a fucking fool. Like, I can, like, let loose a little. If he's acting like an idiot... I can act like an idiot. Definitely look like an idiot. Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to look as stupid as he is. Yeah, bro. I also, I'll tell you about this later, but uh, I, I'm like rap, like, like, oh, like, look young, but I actually got an 18 year old's phone number this weekend. <laughs> Why? Oh, well, I didn't know she was 18 when I got it. Oh, okay. That's fair. Yeah. That is fair. All, All right, right. So anyways, we get in this Hummer limo uh, that we had to walk to. But it was fun. Like, honestly, the Hummer limo was the best part. We were playing music, jamming out. I'm assuming you guys were drunk. Drunk walks are pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so we went to a first party, and it wasn't even really a party. It was put on by, like, a management company. Like, all the lights were on. They were playing music from the TV. Like, they had snacks. And I was like, this is a fucking party. Like, what the fuck? This is is a birthday party. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, kind of. This is Timmy's 15th birthday party. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Timmy, come here. All right, guys, we're gonna Timmy, sing Happy here. Birthday the to Timmy. House is here. <laughs> the girl house is here. Ready? Happy birthday <laughs> to. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit! But we go there, we leave, and then we go to um, another party. This one actually, like, the lights are off. This actually was in a cool apartment. <laughs> this one, the like... lights are actually off. <laughs> Demon time. <laughs> <laughs> this one wasn't a 15 year old's birthday party. <laughs> no, I think That's the other so- one was put on by like people who do like influencer management, which don't get yeah. me wrong. They're very smart. Like I connected yeah. with one of them and he went, he graduated from Yale, like super mm-hmm. smart. But like you looked at this guy and you're like, nah, he does not a party. Does that make yeah. sense? Like, it, yeah, you know it felt so- like more like a, it probably felt like more of, um, like a gala not like not like a gala but like where you go to like network not like go yes to like, hey, let's get fucking slapped <laughs> let's get slapped baby yeah, yeah it was it was more just like calm relaxed whatever um and then so we go to the second party lights are off it, it, it was a decent party but it was just more like like it, there was nothing special about it you know what i'm saying yeah. like yeah there was no there were the the setup the apartment like most people were sitting or just standing around talking like there wasn't like anybody um like there wasn't like a dance floor it, That's it was so a cool essential place. for a party, dude. Like exactly, having the, like, there's like having a, like a group or an area of like people who are just like dancing, like. And I know like some people just don't like to dance, but like you like have to like pay your 15 minutes on the dance floor just so like there is that area that is being taken up by dancing. Also, going back to my previous point, like people, a lot of people are going to parties to like hook up with people. <laughs> Yeah. So like if if they don't have that area where like they can low key like have some demon time like that yeah. just seriously yeah it's, just, like it, it, it's a vibe for a, killer for a good party it has to happen but yeah. um yeah no that's the party where like I ran this chick she's actually really cool she like she's like tiny like four eleven like if we had Sorry, kids we said they'd bagged <laughs> shorter than if me we, interesting. She, this is the moment when I call Evan, I would tell him about her, and he'd be like, bro, you, you guys about to pop out D6 babies. <laughs> <laughs> not D3, not even D4, not even D6. D5, D6. Those ch- children are going to be fucking slapped around because it's like 5'5", five, 4'11". Five, They're all going to be like five foot maybe. But no, she was, she was super cute, so I just like complimented her on one of her tattoos, started talking to her, got her phone number, whatever. Uh, that's not the main point of this story. I just wanted to brag a little bit. I do, in fact, cool. talk to women sometimes. Um, Weird. But that's not going to go anywhere. Nope. Uh, the fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I will slap the shit out of you. I wish I was in person, bro. I love these when we were doing them in person. I know. 
Wait. A ghost? Oh, that was weird. No, there was something like beeping in the, oh, you're in the so studio. Dead. I know. You're I'm so probably, uh, low key, like, we all think this house is haunted. Like, we hear some whack fucking noises at night. Dude, it's the ghosts of influencers past. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> <laughs> you literally said that right as i was fucking going in for a drink of water <laughs> no dude um yeah they they like it, it just makes funny noises i think it's just like the house like it's a big yeah. house lots big of shit's going on noises Big house, big dick. Anyways, uh, long story. Okay, what I was actually getting to, and you know us, like, we get off topic. So As we do so well. We're like, yeah, we're going to, and like, granted, this Hummer limo, like, parked outside and, like, is there to wait for us, like, had for, like, four or five hours. Mm -hmm. So we were like, all right, we're leaving this party. So we go outside, Fine. and the Hummer limo somehow broke down. <laughs> like, and this is after, so you're at the second party already. We're at the second party. Like, it was parked. It was perfectly You're coming fine. out to leave. Yeah, we're coming out to leave. That shit's so, he, so he called this like big ass fucking van, like 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 a, a le like an uh, one of those like eighteen passenger vans. Oh, like the mission trip vans or like the ones. Yeah, that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. there were like the the Hummer limo was seating like twenty five of us. Yeah. So we are all just like jammed into this van. Packed and, in like circus clowns <laughs> or like yeah. car clowns. <laughs> yeah, and it was like fuck. And so we get to the hills and he takes us up a certain part. And then at a certain point, he's like, oh, I don't think I can go up anymore. <laughs> and we were like, all right, that's kind of fair. Like, this is a big van. Like, I totally understand it. So we get out of the car or out of the car. We start walking. And right as we're about to get to our house, this guy fucking drives by us. Like he goes all the way up the hill to where we are at the, we're the last house on this hill. And then there's a dead end at the reservoir. He goes all the way there and then turns around. And we literally were sitting there outside while he's trying to turn this car around because, like, he was doing like, it in a driveway. So bro. it was like a. We were literally one of the one of the guys was like, "Yo, what the fuck!" Like, <laughs> not only did we pay you for a Hummer limo, and that did not happen all night. Then you proceed to drive us off like a good like half a mile down the road, like, and then you could have driven us up. It was just like a whole fucking like. <laughs> Oh, go ahead. That makes it fun, though. I mean, no, I was just going to say that is so weird, but, like, that just makes it fun, I guess. But also, oh. what a stupid dude. Like, <laughs> I know. He was such a dickhead. We were like, what the fuck? And then, like, then like the next morning, we were just like, whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, it yeah. was a fun night, a fun experience, but we were just like, bro. Like, first world, world problems, but. <laughs> yeah, I just don't get the whole. Like, he could have. Did he say, like. If it was a weight thing, then maybe because like then you know there's 24 of you people, but like then just I don't like think that take was some it. trips. Like it, clearly the van can make it up that hill. So I low key think we m there must have been something that happened that pissed him off because like what, what did there, he expect? <laughs> I don't know. Sober me was I was like how how did he possibly like how do I say this like. How did the Hummer limo possibly break down while we weren't in it? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I wonder if this guy was like, yo, f these guys, like, we're just getting like a shitty man and take them back. But that like, yeah, also feel, logically like, doesn't make sense. Yeah. And did you see like any sort of sort of like triple A vehicle come up to like this, the, the um, Hummer when you guys were leaving? Or is he just like, oh, I'm calling a guy and. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really check. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, he, he, yeah, <laughs> he could have just been like, "It's broken," and then like maybe he just did like didn't want to take you guys back, or maybe like overbooked or something. I don't know. That, that could have possibly bizarre. happened. That's so but, I mean, bizarre. I mean, at that point, it was like twelve or like one in the morning, so I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know. You got back safe. You lived to tell the tale. That is true. We did live to tell the tale. But fuck that, dude. Yeah, fuck, fuck the chicken strips. But yeah, no, that was pretty fun. And then we also had like a party. Honestly, parties here kind of suck for me because I'm the house manager. So I'm kind of like the, I'm the dickhead that like, like yeah. has to make sure we're not letting random in. Like I'm pretty mm -hmm. much door dicking. Yeah, the whole time. Door dicking and then kicking people out who don't want to get kicked out. Yeah. But it, dude, it's so funny out here. Like doing how God's many work. people, yeah, doing God's work.
Shout out Teak, y'all trained me well. No, dude, it's funny how many people will be like, oh, let my friend in, bro, like he has so many followers. And I'm like, I don't give oh. a fuck how many followers they have. Like yeah. they can, their, them and their followers can suck my tiny PP. Like get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Get him and all of his followers to get into a single line and start sucking my dick if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> God, that is, just, uh, that is, uh, that is, it's just uh, like, why? Like, yeah, wh- I, I guess that's just like a ticket of entry for some people. I mean, it has, to, I'm assuming it has to work sometimes. That's why, like, they yeah, keep probably. saying it, but that's so weird. Look, I it's have like, <laughs> my virtual currency. <laughs> I have Bitcoin. I, I mean, bought 100,000 I, on Instagram I, in 2012. I have Bitcoin. Like, let me in. <laughs> <laughs> That's some shit Evan they look. I didn't hold the lot. I held the line. Let me in. <laughs> I have like two hundred dollars in Dogecoin. <laughs> let me in. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> I'm so glad you got that reference. God. Bro, didn't you didn't you uh add some shit to the to the notes? Oh yeah, I did. I added um I don't know if I said it last time, but uh so I lost my work keys. Um Your work keys? Yeah, the keys to like to my building. Oh. At work and like the fob that gets me into my parking and i lost it and i was like fuck like i don't know where these things could have gone and like the only reason i take them off of my keychain is on the weekends because i'm like well if i lose my keys like i don't want to lose my work keys like that's the end of the world yeah go out last weekend or the weekend before and fucking lose my keys my my work keys and i was like the fuck like <laughs> this this backfired <laughs> um and so i'm i'm I think it was the weekend we went to the. Did we had the podcast? Did we have the podcast after we? I did. To, I went to the shardy. The oh no, party. we did that like right before you went to the shardy. Oh shit, dude. Okay, we'll talk about the shardy. But so, um, <laughs> dude, the fact. Oh my, but shardy makes me so fucking angry, bro. I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, because, I want to be like, hey, yeah, bro. I would do a shardy. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You guys go to LA parties in the hills. I go to shardies. <laughs> I go to a shit party. Bro, that's just like, like such like a Minneapolis type shit thing. Like, no. fuck, bro. Welcome to the Midwest. We party in barns. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, continue. Um. So I'll talk about the shardy later. But so I, I'm texting everyone who's there, people's house it is, and I was like, hey, like. This is a long shot because they live in like a huge property. And so like, you know, I walked, I fucking ran out to, you know, down the driveway. It's like 200 feet at one point that night. So it could be in the fucking grass somewhere. But um, I'm asking around and like no one find, no one can, no one gets back to me about it. And I was like, fuck, like I can't lose these. These are like, <laughs> I don't want to have to go up to like someone at work and be like, lost my keys. Like. No, oh, I don't, don't want to have to do that. <laughs> um, but I'm jokingly talking um, to the girl whose whose place it was, and I was like, "Hey, like, you don't need to like steal my keys for me to like come back and see you again." And she was like, as like a joke, and she was like, "Ha, ha, ha like, fuck you, like, whatever." Um, and later in the week, so it's it's later in the week, and I still haven't found them, and like, I have a mental place that i always put my keys like literally like right here um on my desk like i know exactly uh, what you're talking on, about yeah. yeah yeah like up on my shelf and so mm-hmm. i i'm like looking like it, i don't have anything in my room like this and like this are like most of the things i have in my room and so i'm like looking on the floor i'm like i don't see these anywhere like there's no way that like they could be anywhere else and so I even I, I took my trash out too before that, so I was like, "Oh my god, did they fall in my trash?" And like, did I take my trash out? Damn! And so I was like, "They're gone. Like, if they're not in here, like, they're gone forever. No chance." Um, and so it gets to I finally like talked to some people at work. I was like, "Hey, like, lost my keys. Um, haven't officially said I lost them yet because like, I'm not gonna you know own up to it until like they're officially lost. <laughs> Give me a few more days to like." maybe hope and pray to find him somewhere um and it was the end of the day where i was like okay like tomorrow i'm i'm walking and i'm getting like a new pair of keys and i get a text from the girl whose place we had it was at the girl's place at the shardy and she was like hey so 
I found your keys. And I was like, what? I was like, I found your keys in my purse. I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, this is Amanda, right? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amanda, is yeah. this Amanda or Amanda's sister? Olivia? No, no, no. Uh, Amanda. Oh my God. So I was like, <laughs> holy shit. So I was, I immediately jumped on the, oh, oh, so you stole my keys. Like, that's so weird. Like, why would you do that? And it was kind of funny because, like, we couldn't, like, place when or how my keys got into her purse. Because, like, when we went to the bars or, like, when we went to the shardy, like, I, I, like, her purse wasn't there. Like, she didn't take her purse out to the bars. Like, it wasn't at the shardy. So, like, I have, I genuinely have no idea how they got there. So there's, like, a small percentage that, like, she did put them there but like obviously she didn't but it, mm. it's it's just fu- it's just funny to joke about but i was i was oh oh can you hear Uh-oh. me oh it switched mics and we're back and we're back Perfect. where are you no i'm so i'm so sorry i don't fuck these wires anymore um but yeah i i i couldn't be- it was just so funny how like week that I was getting about like losing them and like I had like like I said like I there was only a few places they could be and they weren't anywhere near here and I was like god damn it um but thankfully I found them and they were just like I thought she found them like in the shed too so I was like holy fuck like that is so lucky that she found them like just like on the ground somewhere um but no they're in her purse and you know I'm just happy to have my keys back <laughs> What if you put your keys there? That's openly, what she was saying. So that she would. <laughs> no, that's, that's I see the, right through your lies, Matthew No, and that's the whole joke too. She was like, "Why would you put your keys in my purse? Like, you don't need to do that to see me again." I was like, "You learn quick." <laughs> um, my boy playing the long game. Well, we know you are notoriously bad about keeping track of your keys when you're drunk. Yeah, dude. It's just. <laughs> I, well, that's the thing. Like, I, I thought I took them off to prevent this from happening but it just backfired <laughs> backfired um horrendously but i found him so life is good um i partied in a shed which was incredible so um let's see what is what is a shardy how do how does webster dictionary describe a shardy um <laughs> it is a is a shed in which you party in and my initial thought was Oh, so we're going to someone's like shed in their backyard that like all the tools that their dad has get kept gets kept in, like all the garden shit and like the lawnmower. And we're gonna like move that to the side somehow and just have a table in the middle and like party in this shitty shed. And I was down for that. <laughs> I was so <laughs> down for that. I was like, fuck it. Like you guys seem you like You would sit in a cardboard box <laughs> and drink by yourself. <laughs> no doubt my mind no i would need this. one more person and then i could do it one would be so down yeah it's so i i was cool with that i was like fuck it like yeah i'll go to a shardy like uh, and for and i also was like yeah i'll shit my pants and party that sounds like a shardy to me like i'm good with that um i quickly was told no it's not that like we have like a nicer shed and i was like what's a nice shed um they had like an athletic training facility as like a shed. It had like a batting cage, a basketball hoop, astroturf, couches, a bar. Like this shit was set. So it was like that's a not fun a shed zone. though. No, it, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I honestly don't even know if there's any like tools in there. It was just like a super nice, a super nice like garage or like a machine shed that was like tricked out to the max. Um, and so we, we pulled up there, there, um, we had some hammer slogging going. It was a good time. Oh, hammer slogging, bro. I missed that shit. I know. It was so fun. Um, but yeah, I, oh God, like I wish I, for this next part, like I wish I was awake for this, but so like, we're all like kind of coming inside to like the house and like, everyone's kind of like finding their places to sleep. And I was like, cool. Like everyone's going to bed, like works for me. I love going to bed. Um, I don't even know what time it was. And I kind of just, you know, again, see everyone ushering themselves into their <clears throat> their sleeping areas for the night. So I'm like, cool, out. So I run upstairs, um, go into a bed, knock out. And, like, I wake up 9 o'clock just full of joy because I got a full night's sleep. 
Um, but apparently, when I went to bed, like all hell broke loose. Um, there, there was this one girl. I forgot her name. I probably just shouldn't even say her name. But um, early in the night, she was like, "Ooh, like I'm gonna drive home," and I was like, "Why would you do that?" She was like, "Well, like, uh, and like I, I couldn't get like a reason for it, but like." Some people were saying like, oh, she like is thinking about it. And I was like, I'm going to go over and like give her a talk and be like, don't do this. Like, don't do that. Bad, just stay here. bad dog. Yeah. Just stay here. Like think about all the people here who would like, you know, be like destroyed if like something happened to you and you, you left like giving her like that whole spiel. And I thought I like, and this was before I went to bed. So I thought I did like a good job. And she was like, okay. Like, you know, it sounds, <laughs> sounds pretty good. And I was like, cool. Like my conscience is clear. Like, Again, that, I'm ready for that bed. shit like like where you're drunk and you're like, yeah, I handled that perfectly, yeah. and, then, yeah. and you're thinking about it sober, and you're like, nah, that was <laughs> don't even, I, no, it's, it was more of a what did I even tell her? Like, I don't even, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Literally, there's this girl. Just, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say I could have literally been like not even talking about that. I could have <laughs> just been like fucking ranting about like Star Wars or something. <laughs> Hey, you shouldn't, dr- bro. The fucking shit Anakin pulled. Can you fucking believe it? Like, I would fucking stab <laughs> the kids too, but like, fucking <laughs> Empire. <laughs> Yo, I would kill kids too, but like, pff, I don't know, like that. <laughs> I'd have them sleeping first, pr- personally, but why would you kill <laughs> kids when you can sell them like shit? <laughs> You know, like, your wife probably likes to get choked, but force choked till she dies, it's probably not cool. Probably not cool. I don't think she would call me daddy after that. But. Yeah, no. <laughs> she wouldn't be able to. She would, she would not have a pulse. Um, but anyways, so, like, I, I, I'm i in bed at this point. Um, so I, I, no, okay. Let me, let, me, let me do this in my perspective. So, I wake up, and I'm, like, on the edge of the bed like curled up like i'm like pencil and i was like dude what the fuck like i look over i was like oh, and like why are you taking up like this entire like like feels like king size bed like you're on dirt for that and then i like look over and this girl is like in the bed too and i was like oh like that makes sense like three people in the bed um and we're just doing like we're just like all like waking up and the girl just says something like man it's gonna like be kind of tough to get my car out of the ditch and i was like what she's like yeah like i like drove my car into a ditch last night i was like no you didn't because like i knew i knew that she said she was going to or like going to drive and i was like no like you didn't like i, I told you not to so you didn't there like you you're didn't. lying yeah and then and she was and then like amanda's like no like she did i was like what do you f-? i was like no fucking way and so I proceeded to get filled in on this story that this fucking girl, like, despite what everyone was telling her, still, like, I, for I don't even know what reason, like, gets into her car and she, I, I th- she drives down the driveway and, like, it's out in the country, so there's no lights. Like, your only lights are your headlights, and I don't even think she turned them on. And so, like, they live, like, on a county road where the side of the road is like just direct. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like there's no like there's nothing. So she like gets on the road, like gets in like the lane to like go wherever way, but she like keeps drifting right. And eventually her car just like goes like this and keeps going. It's stuck. And she's like sideways. Like she's probably like leaning in she's in her car looking up at the stars. Um and she just and she gets out. She walks back inside. She tells people, my car's in the ditch. Walks upstairs and falls asleep in the bed next to me. That was her night. (laughs) And everyone else hears this while she just walks upstairs and goes to bed and are like, your car's in the ditch? And everyone wakes up except me i'm i'm knocked out in bed with her <laughs> i'm passed out i'm i'm more than gone i i was told i was trying to I, that i was trying to be awoken and i was not being was oh not no just. dude lit, fucking houston shit yeah when you're out bro you are fucking out <laughs> yeah. dude, but I'm I'm out houston. that whole charade happened and i had no idea <laughs> girls walked in and they were just like freaking out one of them's in the fetal position 
crying, they're all being loud and shit. I'm like trying to like still drunk as fuck, trying to like usher them into rooms, and you're just out. <laughs> How cold. And I and I honestly, I honestly didn't like that night. I drank a fucking shit ton. We pounded booze that night. Th- that uh, at the shardy, I I didn't. I don't think I drank that much, at least. But um, Bruh, I had Bacardi the the other night. Like I just shot a Bacardi, and it gave me war flashbacks. I was like, ah, <laughs> no, nah, we can't fucking do that. Into some like fucking corner of the neighborhood. <laughs> All right. Calling my sister. Face yeah. Fucking bowling, bro. Oh, hey. we don't need that shit. Hey, ah. Fuck. Uh, Anyways, continue with your story. We don't need that. Yeah, so, shit, bro. so she just fucking goes to bed. She just like total, not like totals, but she like gets her car like completely stuck and just goes to bed in a ditch. And like, that's just normal for her. That's As you obvious. do when your car gets yeah, drunk, you just into a ditch. You just fold and give in and you just go to bed. So everyone else who's like downstairs and awake is like are like holy shit like this girl's car is in the ditch like we gotta figure this out and like there's this whole fiasco and like her dad like the dad the parents are home so like they wake up and like the dad has to like deal with this bullshit and like I mean there's not much you can do at like 3 a.m. so they just like put a cone out there just so like people who are driving can see it um it wasn't like on the road or anything but just like just in case yeah and like it was just so stupid and like she like woke up and like i didn't really like pay attention to how she was acting but like she definitely didn't say like i'm sorry enough or like didn't feel it didn't seem like she cared and i was like dude like and i i i physically and did not believe she did this to her car and so i walked out walked down the driveway and looked over and her car was literally just like sideways in this ditch and i was like how are you that fucking stupid? Like, I don't know. I, I couldn't believe it. She, like, the next, like, the morning after just, like, seemed like she shrugged it off. Like, I was told she felt bad, but, like, how bad do you really feel when you just, like, go to bed? And, like, you're like, oh, someone else will deal with this problem. Number one, do I know this girl? No. I okay. don't even, I don't even know her, really. She's, like, it was friends of people of friends. Friends like, of friends. Gotcha. Yeah, I just, yeah, I, I don't want to know her, Frank, quite frankly, like, just I, I don't either. care and i and someone said like oh this isn't like the first time that's happened and i was just like what like i have like no sympathy for people no. like that is that bad like i'm no, just like i don't know Yo, because not only are you like putting your life in danger but you're putting someone else's life in danger yeah. so like fuck your car you deserve that like no fuck her. So you, that's what you get for being a bitch <laughs> yeah fuck, just, you get for being fucking stupid oh god that so like no one got hurt she's just like big stupid idiot so it's like kind of funny now but like i just i I don't i i was like i said i couldn't believe it till i went out and saw it i was like what the fuck (laughs) it's like what the fuck not not the coolest thing to happen at a party of a place that you like have never been to before but whatever nah dude so we have the that kind of reminds so we have these two creators their names uh actually i'll leave their names out but like you can probably put two together but they're roommates they're both african-american um they one of them talking to this girl from like mexico or some shit and they were like he was like mad into her like super like oh man like i can't wait for her to come over whatever blah 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 Mm -hmm. so So one one weekend weekend, this girl girl comes comes over and she she comes comes over early early. i I want to say um um, i think think it was was the the same same night we bought like the the tiktokers TikTokers versus versus youtuber fight fight. and we we had had some people over and like watched it in our movie Mm -hmm. room and whatnot it was super fun um and then she was there with him and then afterwards like we started pre-gaming we were gonna have a party or whatever and um she was there and like he was having a great time until she got stupid drunk mm. and for some reason i've never seen this like in like okay at least with girls i've never seen this she got drunk and got really fucking touchy like apparently like she walked by me and she was like putting her arms like our hands on my chest and shit and i was like all right, like maybe she just like didn't mean to do that, but apparently she was walk- walking around like broken girls' butts and like dudes' butts and like yeah, like it was Ooh, bad. Weird. And then on top of that, bro, they were like chilling in the room, like vibe, and it was like the two roommates, mm-hmm. uh, another girl who was African American, and this girl who was like white, like pasty white, bro. You probably <laughs> see where this is going. And one of the creators, he he. Uh, I- I had to say like his name. His, his name's Smitty. I don't think he'd care if I told this story. His name's Smitty, and he kind of has this like tagline where he's like Schmitty, 
And he says it all the time. He says it in his videos. And so he like, he just said, I don't know how it came up in conversation, but he said, it's Schmitty. And then like the N word. And one of the, the, the other black girl who was with him, like she copied him. And then this girl who's pasty white copies him as well. <sighs> and they were, I wasn't here for this, but this is just like, that happened. And they were all like, what? And at first, a couple of them were like, oh, like maybe, maybe it was an accident or maybe <laughs> they just misheard it. Did she run it back? She ran it back. <laughs> Ooh, you hate to see it. You really do. But after that, like, apparently after oh. that, it was downhill. Like, this girl was, like, mad, mad drunk. <laughs> um, like, he, like, went and talked to her in the bathroom. She started breaking down crying, like, making all these excuses. And so he was like, hey, like, I want you to leave. He's like, but you're too drunk. Can you call me Uber? And she's like, no, I'm going to drive. And oh, like, why? why is she taking so many L's? Dude, the <laughs> amount of L's this woman took. Just L on L on L. L's cubed. L's <sighs> quadru- uh, What is it called? Like, to the power of four, bro. She was L in hard. She's like, no, I'm driving home. And he's like, you are not fucking driving home. <laughs> so, like, there was a certain- Wait, like, I'm door dicking outside, and his room is, like, right outside the front- Or right next to the front door. So he comes outside, and, he and he's just giving us the full debrief, bro. He's, he's like, like, yeah, like, I have her keys right here, and he's like- She's like- crying and like screaming and like blah 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 and i'm like bro that fucking sucks <laughs> so that sucks so it's duke yeah so he was like and so like eventually like they had to but once again one of those things like, like I, I told you the the roads here fucking blow yeah. and like you can't drift on these roads not like no. drift like tokyo drift but like drift like your car if that yeah. would have happened like to if that girl would have driven she yeah. would have drifted right off of a fucking cliff bro. yeah yeah and the most wild thing too i've thought of, i've literally thought about this of some of these clips cliffs bro are houses the like bottom. if you were to tumble yeah if you were to tumble down like if car were to tumble you down landed someone's some, pool bro <laughs> or they're like on top of their roof bro like you just be fucking like eating dinner and then all of a sudden just kapoom, and you're like oh shit not some again like <laughs> Not again! Fuck! <laughs> no, dude, dude. That reminds me of like that South Park episode where like Randy's playing Wheel of Fortune and like it's like and blank G G E R S and like he has to like finish the word and he's like, hey. well, I don't know if I can say it. And then it's the clue is people that annoy you and he just drops it and just like <laughs> it drops the N word and then it's like it was the I'm not gonna say it but. You know, you know what I mean with the A. Yeah. Well, that's like, it's like a, someone who's nagging. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But even like, even just saying it, like I've never, I've never called someone like a, like N A G G E R. Yeah, it's just too like close. It's, it's way too close, bro. That is just it's, so. Don't even try, like, tippy toe into some, the territory. Someone hears you from across the room, and they just hear it slightly wrong. Like, yeah. No, nah, dude, I would never. I've never like, been in ah. like a sentence situation where like, like I'm trying to say like N A G G E R S, you know? Yeah. Like it's always like, like you're I've, nagging me. I've yeah, never yeah, called yeah, you're so nagging me. I've said that. Yeah. Like you don't point at a giant at like a group of people and like, oh, look at all of them. Yeah. Nah, and you would just like I can't even say because it, it did like it, it would still come off the tongue just like nah. Yeah. That is not okay for fire. some reason. That is foul, bro. Foul. Oh my god. I feel like uh, we're like dancing around fucking fire right now. <laughs> so close to getting cancelled. Someone's just waiting. Someone's just Someone's like, like sitting at the keyboard like Say it, say it, say it, say it. <laughs> say it, say it with your chest. <laughs> Need you guys off the internet forever. <laughs> um Wow. Cancel Sarbi and Zebi too. Honestly, they could just take any of our podcasts and just be like, fuck these guys, get them off the internet. Like, yeah. It'd be pretty straightforward. I talking about. Oh, go ahead. I just I was to roundabout back to your story. I cannot believe that girl said that. I yeah. like. I I can't believe she said that, and then ran it back. <laughs> yeah. No. I. I mean, like, I don't know. It's hard because it's like on one hand she was drunk, but on the other hand, like uh, that also kind of gives them like like I I'm a firm believer of like. Uh, drunk actions are sober thoughts. Or, yeah, drunk actions are sober thoughts. Yeah. 
Like 100%. I've also I've also been extremely blackout hammered where I don't remember like getting from point A to point B, and I don't think I ever said something like that. Yeah, me neither. So, so it's like, yeah, it's not like a justification, but it's also yeah. I, it I don't know. I I I am not like trying to justify her in any way, but like it's just it's just like a weird situation, you know? Like I just felt bad for my boy. He was just like so not like heartbroken, but he was like his like he was yeah. like, this girl's not for me, but he was just like fuck, man. Dang it. <laughs> Damn. Shit. She a racist. <laughs> she a racist. She a dumb bro. bitch. Bro, I feel like it's sad because I feel like these podcasts have just been mainly us like catching up. I know. There's not. I, it sucks. I, yeah. It's a different vibe, but, you know, we'll figure it out. And at the end of the day, we're still doing it. So that's all that yeah. matters. For sure. Oh. For sure. And, uh, no, it'll be it'll be good too. Like I feel like I'm I'm trying to figure out being out here. Mm-hmm. Like I know I have more fun stories to tell because my life is like stupid interesting right now. But yeah. like, I feel like I need to prepare for these better. Like I didn't. No, any seriously, I feel like before it was super easy to prepare because we kind of like had the same like we were like pretty close since like you were here and like we could we we knew the stories that like each other were probably going to come up with, um, and we could just sit and talk before. And so, like, it was just easier to, like, have those. But now that, like, we're living two completely different lives, it's just, like, fuck. Like, I genuinely just want to know how you're doing, man. <laughs> yeah, me too. Like, like it, I feel like, too, like, when I got to, like, when we would shoot our podcast before, like, I feel like a lot of this podcast is, like, uh, like catching up that mm-hmm. we would normally do. Like, it's almost like we have to sit in a call and, like, catch up really quickly. Yeah. And then hop into, like, the, the like, topics and stuff. Because, yeah. like, not that what we're talking about isn't interesting, but I feel like it's just different. Like, yeah, definitely. The whole thing's We different. could try that, too. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, we did, we did yeah. it before, honestly. I don't know if that's what it I was. To, as long as I get to see your face longer, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if it's off record, you know, you can see a little bit more than just my face. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Let's shoot. shoot. I almost said spoot, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoot. spoot. <laughs> oh, why did I get a fucking slack out of Yo, um, auto talks at 50k. No fucking way, baby. Yeah, Let's dude. go. I'm back on um Daddy Zuck Bucks um follower wave, so I'm getting I'm getting ran up with followers. It's fucking dope. Bro, I'm telling you. Hey, did you did you check if you have badges or not? Oh, I did not do that. Bro, you should definitely easy 500 bucks, bro. For anybody listening to this, if you have like a decently sized Instagram account, get on to Instagram badges. They're literally paying people like 500 bucks just to go live. Like it's like milestone bonuses. And I actually someone gave me a badge on one of my li- or two of my lives. Oh, so badges are something that people give you. Yep, so <clears throat> you know like, marketing don't know how Instagram works. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how Twitch works, right? Like Twitch, yeah. you can go live and then people can give you gifts. Same mm-hmm. thing. Same thing. So people can like gift you badges and they just uh-huh. get like a cool thing by their name. Uh, but so like it's a... I was going to say, so how do, you, um, how do you see if you have badge eligibility? Um, we can talk about it off the podcast. But, I feel like, but, but like it's, it's easy. Yeah, I'll show you. It's yeah. like in your business section. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I, it, it's like Instagram is just handing out money left and right, bro. I'm about They're it. Like, yeah, we're about it. But congrats on 50k auto tones. I yeah. I think that'll be a great avenue. I think like I was telling my mom about this. Like, what we're doing, what we're building. Like, it, it just takes time. It's not really hard. Like anybody could do it. Yeah. But um, it's definitely super valuable. Like at the end of the day, you have an account that like you know a lot of people would probably pay good money yeah. for. Like it's like investing. Like it's that. literally like investing in some like very stable stock where it's just like it's only gonna get more valuable over time or 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 honestly the way i actually really think about it is like like owning property except we have like i have a virtual property now i have a virtual like billboard i have a virtual like bulletin board that like someone can fucking either pay to be on or like pay to own someday yeah 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 or even like you could you know you have influence and traffic now to drive somewhere like yeah. i still think you should start a car podcast or something that you can monetize in the long term yeah that like maybe isn't right off the bat like you're mm-hmm. making money but um no i think it's I, like it, it, it's insane and uh the one thing that you have to keep in mind is like instead of a stock like 
the value of entertainment will always be there. Like no matter what stock market crashes, there will always be people who want to see car videos. There will always be people who want to watch YouTube videos. Like mm-hmm. the, that shit's always going to be there. Demand will always be there. Demand will always be for that busted ass pussy, Zemi, that you own. Mm. Uh. <sighs> All right. I feel like well, we're getting tangential. Oh yeah, it's 10 p.m. Or yeah, I was about to say we're gonna probably wrap this up because um your boy has to wake up and be an adult tomorrow. Little sleepy boy. Technically, yeah. I have to be an adult too, but I, I don't know. I'm I'm, in a, I'm on 8 p.m. time right now. Yeah. I got, two, I got like two or three hours. Yeah, you got two more hours. Productivity left. So. Exactly. Bro, honestly, my sleep schedule has been fucked lately. I bet. Just you know, going out just because of living stuff. With... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Saturday night I stayed up to like 5:30, so like, yeah, right. Cool. That's tough. I can't even stay up to like one anymore. And... <laughs> yeah, dude, it's hard. I was honestly the only reason I did was because well, I was hanging out with somebody. Um, but then also we had like a party that night that went till like three or four, and so like oh, that's kind of like cleaned up and shit too. So. Yeah. It was a good time. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten would do that again. For sure. But it's like, I, I wasn't doing that shit in Minneapolis, I feel like. So that's how. No, I don't think we, no, you're, uh, you weren't a late bug. I was, I was not a late bug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we just stayed. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put you on your misery. Um, misery, you know, I enjoy this. I wouldn't be yeah, if I, I didn't enjoy it. That's true. Mm, I wish I could kiss you on the mouth right now. Oh God! If you were here right now, the things I would do to your face. <laughs> oh, no, dude! I oh. love you, man. I appreciate you like your doing face, like shit Picasso. Getting into... oh. Who is that? Oh, what's up? No, you're good. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. See you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. I love you. Ooh, My podcast co-host says, "See you tomorrow," and then he loves you. Okay. He Bye-bye. doesn't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I love it too. Sometimes <laughs> she you... said. You can just know okay. you can just know who your wife is by the sound of her voice. Exactly, she's a like creator from Ireland. But all right, let's wrap this shit up, Zemi. Yo, you know why um, Ireland's the richest country in the world? Get the fuck out of here! Because their capital be Dublin. <laughs> That's our show. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Number one show on OnlyFans. Keep coming back. Um, smash that like button. Absolutely go nuclear on it. Um, peace, love, positivity. Um, suck Sarby's dick. Nuke that like button's cheeks. Oh, mm. suck Z- Sarby's dick now. <laughs> we're passing it to oh, the homies. We're passing it on. We're passing it. Bro, do you dude, fucking kiss your homies goodnight? Dude, just kiss your homie goodnight. Give his pee-pee a little kiss. Come on. Just do it. He deserves it. Builds he's character. He does. Get that he's, vitamin he's D. He's your homie. If he's not your homie, he's not kissing your pee-pee. <laughs> All right. Peace yeah. out, guys.